Hi everyone, Nessie here. Um, been a while since I've done a video. Been quite a hectic month last month. Went away on holiday for a couple of weeks. Half term with the kids. Stuff like that. I had to shut myself away for the last week or so to get this done. This is my DT project for Calico Collage. Um, it is a bit late this month because of holidays, so I can only apologise to Calico Collage. But I will do my best to show you this as it is quite large and quite chunky. There is a lot in it. Um, so this month I used a kit called Charming Forest, um, another beautiful kit by Color. Um, Calico Collage, another beautiful kit by them, lovely images. Um, again, I didn't do a journal. This time I have done a lap book. Um, I followed a tutorial by someone, I think she's called Kathy Otter King. I hope I pronounced that right. She did a tutorial called the December Daily 2012 lap book. So if you wanted to see the tutorial, I will put a link to her channel in the bottom, but you will have to look for it. I will also put a link to Calico Collage's Etsy shop and their kits in the description below. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to show you this. There is a lot to it. I'll do the best I can. So it's a lap book. It's made out of um, file folders. It measures um, nine and a half inches across and 11 and three quarters down. Um, I, the back has been covered with vintage photo paper. I have reinforced the spines and covered those in a kind of calico fabric. Um, it has a seam binding, attached seam binding enclosure there is an image on the front that has been stitched it has lace um, some doilies and some paper flowers i also have to apologize for the lighting it's a very miserable day here in england so therefore there are some shadowing okay so you undo it as so this section opens out and on this side we have two pockets it is a ghost pocket there are a lot of ghost pockets in this I wanted to use the pages so I had to do quite a lot of playing with it in resizing the pages so that they would making them bigger so that they would fit and using them as ghost pockets so on this side we have a double pocket with a tag in one the tags have been stitched and backed with tea dye, like I normally do. So there's one large tag there. I'm going to leave the pocket, the tags out for the moment so that you can see the tag, the ghost pockets. I'll put them back in at the end. There's also a large fold out tag on this one. Like so, again, an image from the kit. And there's your ghost pocket. Um, I'm just going to put something on that to hold it open so it doesn't keep getting in my way. Uh, here we have five pockets on this ghost page. Each pocket has decorated journaling tags that have all been stitched and again back. That's two. Three. And these are all images from the kit. Four. And then a long pocket at the bottom with another journaling tag. And there's your ghost pockets on there. Now this is has a big pocket here. There's a large pocket. It does have a tab at the top, which I have covered, but I haven't put any wordings on there for that's for you to do for whatever you want to put in there and in there is a large almost a4 sized journaling card 
oops, sorry, that has been backed and again stitched. We then turn this over. Here we have another ghost pocket. Now these have flaps which you can, they flap up for a hidden journaling space. So you have one there and you have a little one here. And then at the top, there is a slot pocket. It's just a slit and inside is a little card. And that goes in there. This section then folds out and it gives you another slot pocket here which has a card in it you see the slot pocket there you go it also has a tuck spot here that has a layered journaling card with a little doily on it and a tuck spot at the back which has a fold out journaling card and they just tuck back in like so and then this side we have this which is another flip up so it flips up with some journaling space flips out and gives you some journaling space again here it flips up giving you some journaling space and then flips out, giving you more journaling space. On this side, we have two pockets that have been decorated with doilies and little images from the kit. And in each pocket, there are tags. That one, and a more of a collaged tag, like so. You flip those back. Here we have a large pocket. Now this is called a tension pocket. There's a strip of card on the inside and it holds your cards in place. And in there you have three of these large tags with the uh, page tabs at the top. They've all been stitched. Again, these were, these tags were not in the kit. I've taken images or pages from the kit and made the tags. And there's the pocket there. Then that flips over. And on this side we have three more little pockets. The top one has been decorated. And in these there are again three collaged tags with little ribbon pull outs one two and the third one and then we have a large file folder pocket here in there i have put a large card another large journaling card made from one of the pages of the kit that just slides in but there's plenty of room to add other things in there and then on the other side it's pretty much the same they're mirror imaged so on the the cut this is the cover it opens you have a ghost pocket with a large card in and a little a fold out tag one and there's your ghost pocket. Again, on this side, there are the five pockets. They all have tags in. There is one long pocket at the bottom with a tag. And then there are four side ones. All, they have been stitched and they are backed. Sorry, I keep repeating myself. There's a lot in this. It was a lot more involved than I thought it would be. It took me a long time to do this one. And it's partly why it's so late. These are really cute images. And there's your ghost pocket, which is 
one of the pages in the kit. I have actually added some lace trimmings to the bottom of that page and it's the same on the other side. And then again, you've got your large pocket here. I have put a place for you to add a label or whatever you want. And in that large pocket is another large journaling card. And then we flip that over. And here we have a ghost pocket. Again, this one lifts up for journal hidden journaling space. And the little one flips out for little hidden journaling space. Again, there is a slot pocket at the top, which I'll try and lift it. You see, they're like letterbox pockets. And there is a journaling card in that one that has some lace trim on it. Um, again, that will flip out. And here we have another slot pocket on the side with a card. A tuck spot behind that one. Again, with a doily collaged journaling card which goes behind that one and here in the other tuck spot is a large journaling card from made from a page from the kit beautiful kit on this section again we have the flip ups to give you your journaling space and then flips out for journaling space. This one flips up to give you that journaling space or whatever you want to use it for or flips out. You could put photos in there or anything. Again, there are another two pockets on that with doilies and little images made from old paper book pages and has two cards, the fox one and another collaged type butterfly one. And then you flip those back over. Again, here's your tension pocket with your three tags. There's a fox one, your flower one, and a bird one and they slip in there and basically the tension means that they don't fall out it keeps them in place because otherwise when you when you flip it they would all fall all over the place but that keeps them in quite sturdy flip that out and again we have the three little pockets again there is a flower and embellishment this time on the oh I'm trying to get it in for you on the bottom pocket and these have again the three little cards with the ribbon pull tabs one there's a flower one there it's basically a mirrored mirrored image of the other side the tags are not the same they're similar like there is a flower one a ticket one and a butterfly one on that side but they are different and again there's the large file pocket here which again has a large journal card in it and that slips in there and then we have the center section now the centre section is two large pockets. Um, I have decorated this one with a doily lace doily, a couple of pinned a couple of tickets on. There's the image of the bicycle thing, and the ribbons down the sides as well. 
And in these two large pockets, I have included two notebooks. Now these notebooks are A5 size, so they are roughly eight and a quarter inches across and five and three quarters down. Um, they have 32 pages front and back inside. I haven't put pockets in these notebooks because there's so many pockets in the files and the in the lap book. I did not include pockets in here because I thought it would make it too bulky. So it is just tea dyed paper. Um, on the centre ties I have put some little butterflies and I have distressed the edges. I've decorated the front with some fabric flowers and lace and stitching and there are two of these in here. So that would give you a total of 64 pages of writing front and back. And then um, we have the top pocket here where it goes in and we have another pocket here where it just they just slot in now i also made another two of these notebooks i was going to include them in but it was a little bit too bulky but i will include them with the file folder as extras i have made two but I can't find the other one. I don't know where that's gone. Oh yeah, I put it on that side. I hold it down. These ones are flower ones. And again, these have 32 pages each, front and back. I won't put them in there because it makes them a bit bulky, but I will include them with the file because, um, well, it's up to you. If you want to put them in and have it bulkier or if you want to swap them around or... Just have them as extras in your bag. It's totally up to you. So when the folder is fully open, it's big. It goes all... It's really large because it's a lap book. And then these parts all flip in. They all fold in. That section folds in like so. That section folds in like so. And you close it and you tie it. You see, it's qu quite chunky. But I do love it. It's beautiful. Anyway, I will list this in my shop. I will also put the links, like I say, to Calico Collage and the kits and everything in the description. Uh, please do like and subscribe and let me know what you think i i did enjoy making it it was a lot more involved than i thought but it was fun to do and i would love to know what you think of it and hopefully it won't be so long before my next video <laughs> bye